Uh, my name's Colin Smith. Uh, I managed a protected disclosure at Mitchell Shire Council that was investigated by IBAC. The, the function of the, the protected disclosure coordinator is probably the most important in the protection of the identity of the discloser, um, also in the coordination of investigators from IBAC and with internal uh, information gathering. In the early stages of the investigation, one of the things we identified to help keep the disclosure's name confidential was we don't actually use the name of the disclosure. So in any conversation relating to uh, the investigation or theoretical stuff, as far as that's concerned, was the disclosure. So at no stage did we use the name, it was always the disclosure. The importance of strong leadership uh, can't go understated in, in a, a matter like this. Without, uh, in this particular investigation, without the CEO's full support, uh, we probably would have struggled in lots of elements. Uh, she was the one that, that uh, cleared the roadblocks and made sure that everything happened and was also the spreader or the instigator of the message that, that this was a zero tolerance um, attitude that was going to be taken from here on in. Some of the effects of uh, the investigation on the council actually have been positive. We've now got an environment where we're getting more people coming forward with um, little bits of information and stuff that, that indicates that um, the culture is starting to change uh, bit by bit. You're going to need to be uh, fair, you're going to need to be consistent, you're going to need to think what you're doing is the right thing for the organisation. It does, it is part of your values, otherwise you probably will struggle. I think the, the, the best way is that if you can get people to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do, once that becomes across the organisation, that would be my goal. Um, that people do the right thing because well, it's the right thing to do. Um, that's a culture I'd be aiming for.